What's up everybody? I'm Brandon Henschel and we're in downtown Long Beach right now hitting up one of my favorite spots. Beachwood Barbecue Brewing Company. Awesome food, awesome beer. Hey, check it out! Alright, so first stop so, in the flight. No, I'm not gonna talk about the flight yet. Let's talk about the actual beers that they have. So they've got a ton of them. Uh, but they've got stuff all over the gamut. They've got Russian Imperial Coffee Stouts, they got uh, Pale Ales. Melissa has got herself a foam top. Check this out. So this is just a really nice, light beer, very low in alcohol, so it's just a perfect everyday drinking summer beer. It's good. I know. That's good stuff. I know good beer. Okay, so first up on the flight is this guy right here. This is called, not the year of the dragon, the beer of the dragon. Wait, the beer? <laughs> you can't get that name right. Do you mean Denise? Oh, no. This is a Imperial Red Ale. This has got a hundred IBUs. Now, if you don't know what that means, that means it's got a crap ton of hops in it. So it's not an IPA, but at a hundred IBUs, this is probably going to kick the crotch out of some IPAs. So the lower the IBUs on a beer, the less hoppy it's gonna be. The higher it is, the hoppier it's gonna be. It's just got a very nice dry finish. And I think that's what I like about this. Not super bitter, but a dry finish. And uh, some good clean malt. It's a really fantastic red ale. All right, next up on the flight is the Alpha Master. This is an American pale ale. The Alpha Master has 80 IBUs, so this is gonna be really high in IBUs as well. It's not 100, but still, 80's, 80's pretty high. This is only 5.6% alcohol, so it's gonna be really clean and refreshing, so there we go. Very light body, uh, light and grain flavor too. It's really just all about the hops. All right, next up, third beer is the Amalgamator. Okay, so the Amalgamator's got 99 IBUs on it. So again, this is gonna be a really hoppy IPA. They've got Amarillo hops, uh, Columbus hops, Mosaic, and Warrior hops. That's fantastic. So this again too, you can tell by the color, it's really light in body, but all of those hops together give it a really nice citrus uh, flavor to it. Like you think like Savion Blanc for wine, this has got that kind of a bright citrus uh, flavor to it with just a ton of hops. All right, last one on the flight is called Hop Pernicus. This is gonna be a double West Coast IPA. This was the Amalgamator. This was just a West Coast IPA. So you got double IPA versus IPA. Now with the Hop Pernicus, they're using a ton of hops in this one as well. And I like the fact that Beachwood uses you know, more than two or three editions of hops uh, to their beers, they're using like five and six editions. So they're getting rounded flavors in their beers. And I, I think that's why their IPAs are so good is they're more complex in flavor. So with the Hopernicus, they're using Citra hops, Comet, Equinox, Galaxy, Millennium, and Mosaic hops. 10% alcohol and 100 IBUs. So <laughs> this is like the big daddy of the bunch, right? Here we go. Yeah, it's just like the Amalgamator, except it's uh, it's richer. It's got a lot more flavor. Oh my God, I can it's, smell it from here. It's quite pungent. Oh yeah. It stings the nostrils. It has not more rounded flavor. It just it just it's way more complex because they're using so many different hops, and they're using hops that are floral. They're using hops that have a lot of citrus on them uh, and bittering hops. So. I mean, it's a, it's a very complex beer. The big difference between this, you get more citrus and it's light in body. This one, you can definitely taste the alcohol. More complex flavor in terms of uh, hop usage. And last but not least, we have gotta talk about the food. This is not just a salad. It's a mallet. It's a man salad. It's got smoked skirt steak. We've got feta cheese and beets and egg and red potatoes. I mean, this sucker right here. High protein, low in carbs, and really good for you. And it makes me feel better about drinking the beer. I 
that's it for this beer review here at Beachwood Barbecue. If you're ever in Long Beach, definitely come down here. Uh, fried pickles are amazing. All of the barbecue is amazing. Don't forget to subscribe. YouTube.com slash Brandon Henschel. Follow me on Instagram at Homegrown Husband. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Uh,